What's going on, everybody? It's Rakai Steve, Big Goaty, new from the Ville. You know what it is. So, on this particular segment of video, I'm gonna give you classroom craziness. To those who know me, I spent 20 years, basically, 19 years in a classroom, middle school, math, social studies, other subjects. Listen, it went down. So I spent 19 years in the classroom, middle school, and I can't really say that I taught at any really ratchet places. Every school, no matter where it's at, has its problems. I don't know, I'm a social studies teacher, so I tell a lot of stories. So I got a lot of stories over the years, and my kids love these particular stories. So I'm gonna start today with, uh, with Quickness and the Beast. Quickness and the Beast. This is probably my, I don't know, second year of teaching, maybe? No, it's my third year of teaching. So, but it's, uh, now, in my third year of teaching, I, you know, I've had my own classroom the entire time I've been teaching. The first couple years, I didn't know what I was doing. They just, you know what I'm saying, here you go, here's the classroom, here's some kids. Teach them. What? Listen, to all them children who had me in my first two years of teaching, I love y'all, I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. Anyway, so I was teaching, uh, teaching math, and all of a sudden, I got a knock on my door. And it was a teacher next door, all right? So I opened the door. She was a veteran teacher. She'd been there for a while, you know. This is only my second year in the school. I answered the door, and she said something real quick, and then left. And I was like, what did she say? So I go and look. Out on the steps, she had our whole class. Like, my class was right here, her class was next door, and then there was a set of stairwells. We were on the second floor. She had a whole class lined up on the stairs, ready to go. So she left my door, went to her class, said, come on, let's go. So I looked down the hallway, I was like, where is she going? And what did she want? So all of a sudden, I hear this huge commotion next door in her classroom. And I was like, I thought she just took all of her kids down the steps. I looked in her class. Now, at the time, I taught seventh grade, and she was next door to me. Uh, she taught sixth grade. So I look in the class. She done left two little girls in the class, and they were going to war. Do you hear me? Like, it was Tyson versus Floyd Mayweather. How you want to look at that? She took the whole rest of the class and was like, you know, they not safe. These two little girls, I'm gonna say one of them, because she's still my friend, she gonna see this video, so I might do a, a commentary with her later, because I still talk to her. Uh, let's call her Nick. Let's call her Nikki. Let's call her Nikki. Uh, Nikki was small, was fast, like, mongoose fast like she was fast and really she was a world-class athlete at the school I mean it was middle school but really she was just as good an athlete as any of the boys pretty much and you know she's probably if you took like top three athletes in the school she might come in second or third hands down like she was that good she was one but you know Nikki was she was about that big she was small but she was quick and then she was fighting. Uh, how are we even? I'm going to call her for this demonstration. I'm going to call her Jazzy. So she's fighting Jazzy. Jazzy was a full on silverback gorilla. However, you want to look at that, she was a full on. <laughs> All that, all that, yes, you know, yes, 
all that. So you got a mongoose fighting a silverback gorilla. This ain't gonna turn out good for the mongoose, right? Uh, that's where you're wrong. Hey, Nikki was so fast. She was in there. Psst, 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 psst. She was hit him. Tuck, tuck. Ah, man, her jab game was so strong. Like, and it's one of those things. So I was a young teacher. So I come in a room. I see these two little girls in her going to war. Like, it's almost one of those things where they like grabbing each other and just, just pop, pop, pop. Jazzy was big was big and she was used to like really at this time she was the school bully and she used her size as an advantage and she would jump on girls and stuff and they were scared of her because she just kind of looked like you know if you were walking down a dark alley like you would never see her come up on you don't get mad at me I didn't make her I just see to her you know, and then, you know what I'm saying, then her size, she was just, you know what I'm saying, she was like the boogeyman, you know, and this gorilla just, you know, and you've seen them, and just, just, look, hey, it ain't my fault. Is it a stereotype? Okay, my bad. She's a big girl. Big old girl. Jazzy. Nikki, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, fuck up. So, I hate girl fights. Like, girl fights are the worst. And you know why? Because with boy fights, boy fights are easy. Boys fight, and you know what I'm saying? You just get in there, and you just jump in there, put on your big boy voice, stop fighting! And they stop fighting, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're like, oh, you know, I'm a big dude, you know what I'm saying? So, they stop fighting. Because boys really don't want to fight. They throw them. You know, wild haymakers, they, they looking for one hit of quitters. You know, they, ah, ah. they easy. You know what I'm saying? You just look, pop, break them up. Girls though, nah, man. Mm -mm. Girls, especially even two girls who know how to fight and Jazzy and Nikki both knew how to fight. Two girls that know how to fight, They throw, they throw punches from anywhere. Like, you know what I'm saying? They just bop, you know what I'm saying? Hit you in your forehead. You're like, man, who does that? You know what I'm saying? Just kick it in the forehead. Who does that? You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, around around the back of the neck. Who, who does that? So with a girl fight, if you jump in there, you got to jump in like you're doing double dutch. Like you got to, you know, you got to take your time. Jump in, be like, oh, oh, mm -mm, mm -mm. I was about to get messed up. No, mm -mm. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I jumped in, split them apart, stop fighting right now. Had on the big boy voice, like, you know what I'm saying, like, it commanded power. Stop this fight. And they stopped. And I was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, stop fighting. I said, stop fighting. That lasted all of five seconds. Cause then Jazzy gonna be like, B. She looked right around me like B. And Nikki, she wasn't no punk. Nikki gonna be like, she looked around me on the other side and be like, Your mama. Why? Why did you bring her mama into it? You already fighting one silverback? Now you gonna bring out the whole pack of silverbacks? You seen Tarzan? There's a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? Cold Jack and uh, uh, yeah. you seen them at the zoo? And they just sit there and pick each other's hair and they throw duty at you. You seen it? So she brought up another, even bigger silver. Yes, I seen Jazzy's mama. Listen, there's a big old silverback. Her back might be platinum back. Anyway, so Nikki then called this girl's mama out. They both looked at each other, and I knew exactly what was about to happen. I was like, And then they both rushed each other. 
with me in the middle. So they both grab each other on both sides of me. So they reach around me, grab each other, grab each other's hair. Now they throw a book. They throw a punches. I'm in there covering up like I'm in the middle of a heavyweight bout. I'm in there covering up. I'm like, yeah. I, I swear I heard Rocky's coach say to me, you know, cover up. Yeah. I was like, yes, yeah, coach. And I'm, maybe it's just me. Maybe I didn't hear it, but I could swore when they grab each other, yeah, like that. I know it's a mongoose. I know it's a silverback, but I swear I heard. I heard cats. I know I heard them somewhere. Maybe somebody had cats outside. I heard them. Anyway, they throwing blows. They throwing blows, and then all of a sudden, Nikki. She connected with Jazzy. One of type, I'm in the middle. She connected with her so good. I was like, ooh, ooh, for real? Ooh, she got her. But here's the problem. They were still holding on to each other. With me in the middle. And Jazzy, with her big self, I, I feel the knees getting weak. And I thought, no, 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 no. All I could hear was, Timber! She went down. I'm in the middle. Nikki went down too. Now all three of us on the ground. Now, even though they started fighting again, even though I'm mad, now I'm really mad. You got me on the ground. Two little sixth grade girls fighting and I'm on the ground. You know how much these Jordans cost and you, you might have scuffed my J. Oh, baby. This was crazy. I'm a big dude. Big dude. Jazzy. All the silver back you want. Nikki, this big. Bless her heart. Nikki hit the ground under two heavyweights. She's a straw weight. She's dazed and confused because she really was winning up until this point. I have never, ever seen a silverback move with such agile and grace. She moves so fast. And next thing I knew, I had my wits around me. I look up and this silverback is in the air, pouncing like a tiger, pouncing. She was getting ready, like, you know what I'm saying, like, uh, WWE, like the Kamala Splash, like, she was coming off the top rope. You done made that up. You ain't coming off the top rope on me. Man, I got up so fast and caught her mid-air. This part, I'm ashamed of. This kind of, look at, look at these kind of. I was merely breaking up the fight and I was using safe crisis management to separate these two young ladies from a potentially harmful situation to each other. That being said, I caught in the air and I ain't know what to do with her. You know, I'm a big dude, but I'm not really that, that strong. And apparently to be that strong, that I had to be like uh, Lee Haney or somebody, Mr. Olympia. Listen, she hit my arms and I felt like I had worked out for the whole month. She, I, oh, my arms buckled immediately. Immediately. And all I could do was, hey. I threw her off of me. Now, before we come to the climax of this situation, this entire time, which seemed like forever, happened in mere moments. So from the knock on my door, I had a classroom for the students. I was just seeing what was going on. Heard the commotion, went in there, tried to stop it. Couldn't understand why the teacher just left these two little girls in here throwing chairs and desks at each other. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, trying to staple each other's forehead. Like, they was going to war. This happened so fast. Instinct kind of took over. Like I said, it's my third year teaching. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to make it a safe situation. When Jazzy hit my arms and I threw her up off me, the wall between my class and this teacher's class 
was one of those, it was a solid wall, but was one of those where you grab it by a hook or grab it by a little handle, the whole wall could come back. Like it was a, a kind of a partition wall, but it was hard and it split into like four sections. So you could pull the whole wall back and make it like a huge, huge classroom. Jazzy the Silverback hit that wall. That whole wall came off the track and came down on top of some of my children's heads on the other side in my classroom. Listen, I apologize to Jazzy, to whatever wildlife reserve that she is on today. Hopefully she is picking out the berries out of her fur and not throwing too much duty at pass, you know, passers by. Like I said, I didn't get in trouble because their whole family of silverbacks did nothing but come up to the school and cause more trouble than a little bit. But anyway, that is just one example of some classroom craziness. You know, there's a whole epilogue. I went down to the principal's office. He talked to me. He understand what I was trying to do. You know, the other teacher left her class. It wasn't even my class. In my 19 years of teaching, not a single fight in my class, not one. Part of it may have been because, you know, it doesn't take long for the legend, the reputation of the teacher that throw kids through walls to get out. Hey, don't fight in his room. He'll toss your ass to a wall. Not that. He just jokes. Anyway, remember, continue to tune in. I got way more stories of craziness just... It is what it is. Rakasti, Big Goldie, new from the Ville. Make sure that you hit the share, subscribe, like, comment, all that. We out.